Peggy 18. So now I wait to obviously gameplay mechanics, kind of creating that survival horror experience is very important. There's going to be a lot to handle, but the player will have all the tools in their disposal to fight the darkness. Saga stories start relatively classic horror movie. It's like someone from the real world entering this quirky town, coming here to do a job. She has this uncanny intuition that allow her to solve difficult case. She kind of perceives that threat through the lens of this case board. The case board is a mental projection where she kind of gets to stash data that she's gathered, and that's where she makes sense of it. She's profiling suspects who appear in vision-like way. She calls it her mind place. When she's confronted to her first taking, suddenly the supernatural is really present, and she's excited about it. She's curious, it's something new for her. When Kieran meets Saga for the first time, it was interesting to have this feeling of like being protective. Like, trust me, you don't want to cross this line because when you see all the things that we've seen at FBC, there's no coming back from this. But when the supernatural threaten a family, the stakes are much higher and she has to fight for her own life and the life of her loved one. Logan? Logan! So Saga has her mind place. And then because we've got the two experiences, this idea of duality, we wanted to have the same concept mirrored on Alan Wake's side. So he has what we call the writer's room. They'll be in a version of Wake's cabin from the first game. And then inside there, we have different modules that the player can interact with. One of those modules is what we call the plot board. The player can see what they've done in the past. It almost acts like a quest log in a traditional game. And the player will be discovering inspiration for Alan. So he'll be kind of coming across what we call echo scenes. Something lingered here. I have forgotten memory, an echo. These give Alan ideas that uh, the player can then utilize on the board. It's the idea of rewriting reality to be able to change the world around them. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. This allows them to kind of uh, progress through areas they would not be able to before. It'll uncover new narrative information, uh, potentially even uncover more dangerous threats in, in that space. Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. Why is definitely a big part of Alan Wake too. We have this new mechanic that allows Alan to place and remove lights in predefined scenes. And uh, since the dark place works in mysterious ways, doing this actually has a physical effect on the world. So, for example, a wall could turn into a doorway or a set of ladders. This gives, of course, different opportunities for exploration and gameplay. You need to use your light in a conservative way because sometimes it helps you to guide your way and sometimes it can actually hamper your progression. Saga needs to use her flashlight to burn away the darkness, expose weak spots and finding new possibilities of taking down the enemies. And for Wake, it's a matter of figuring out what is real and what is not. The danger will be lurking behind every single corner. Never Definitely, light is a weapon but it's also a way to survive. From time to time, you might get overwhelmed. So you need to constantly push the threat back and seek refuge in the light and manage resources while doing all that. We have put a lot of emphasis on the physicality on the enemies, where they animate and how they hit player. One thing that is important in comparison to other games that we have made, that player needs to very actively look at the enemy tells look at their combos, time their dodges, time their attacks carefully to defeat the foe while preserving the ammo. We have weapon that allows more silenced approach and then we have more close and personal getting the job done <laughs> style of weaponry. Alan Wake 2 is built on the foundation of our previous games. It's not just a step forward. To me personally, it, it feels like a leap forward. The elements in interactive storytelling that I have wanted to experiment on and, and brought to our games, they are all there present, all pushed way forward in all kinds of unexpected ways. It's all a very logical continuation on this journey.